Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be up against um, Sa Tzu Ha Feed. And of course, before we start, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming from my channel. Without further ado, let's go. There we go. I'm gonna be at the bottom side of the map. Of course, we're going to have to collect those containers. Additional supply centers, developing our base. Now, I just wanted to opt out real quick here. So, yep, 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 yep. Doing great, doing good, yeah. Hammer, okay. All right, we got like a dragonfly, a ton of uh, riflemen, and an armadillo. Yeah. Two armadillos here. One hammer, one typhoon. Cerberus. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Almost insta-killing that uh, armadillo of mine. One typhoon, one hammer. One Cerberus against a plenty of rifleman, three armadillo, one wasp, and two dragonfly. Yes. Balance, 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 balance. Balance in boy, balance in boy. Well, anyway. Yeah, he got that super container. I don't really mind. I don't really care. With so few investment. Yeah. Okay. Level 3, uh, level 4 HQ. Additional uh, special vehicle factory. I got like hidden infantries all across the map here, if you guys may have noticed, to of course uh, see what he's up to. Or, well, avoid being ransacked by a Seraphim. Okay. Hammer here to scout what I have. He actually saw that I have HQ level 4, two special vehicle factories, and a dragonfly and a jaguar. Okay. <clears throat> he's also putting up his uh, army right outside his base, or in front of his base. Positioning the Dragonfly to protect my research facility for the heroes. Okay, additional Jaguars. Developing my base. Mammoth and Chameleon. Leviathan's already in production. We're setting up for this massive engagement here. And I'm still having, you know, hiding across the infantry across the map. To see any further attacks as this map is huge for PvP. There are so many things um, where a uh, Seraphim can actually pass through to attack me. And so, this time around I'm not gonna cut any corners and I'm gonna use like 6 Jaguars and 4 Porcupines to gather this super container. The Viathan's already out, I got it nicely positioned around here and I can see no way that he can surprise attack me with any Vertex or whatever Seraphim shenanigan. As I can see his Seraphim right around here, thanks to my hidden infantry. Super container will be long to me. Okay. I'm gonna have to retreat now. Vertex made its presence. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my wasp to retreat, of course. Okay. Now I was actually planning on attacking him with Yeah, this much dragonfly and a wasp and three porcupines around here, as he doesn't really have that much vertex at this point. Or at least so I, uh, so I thought. So putting up a rifleman around here, so if the Vertex were to go on patrol mode, they'll fire the rifleman instead of my army straight away. Yeah, it's called baiting. Okay, there you go. Army is around here. Okay. Also, I'm transitioning to aviation, as you guys may have noticed, or anti-air first. And transitioning to aviation later on, and I have level 5 HQ at this point. Okay, now. Use the scouting boost. Still HQ level 4. Those vertex actually came out or undocked. Air raid boost is now being used. Now, if you may have noticed the positioning of my wasp, it still covers the uh, Leviathan with its passive because the Leviathan's passive is just a one-time thing and the wasp passive actually reduces damage for longer periods of time as long as you have the wasp covering other aviation. One vertex is down here, as you guys can see. Okay. 
Oh, and wow, that lived? Yeah, it lived. Wow. Okay, I'm not moving my Leviathan around. Okay, and right now I'm going to have to move it as... Well, the Dragonflies are actually taking a beating. So I'm going to have to spread them around. Three Vertex or four Vertex is now, has been, now has been destroyed. And they actually failed to destroy my Leviathan. Just cost more than half damage to it. And if ever they still continue to attack my Wasp... Already, uh, I mean, the wasp passive is already on cooldown along with my Leviathan passive skill. Okay, recovery boost to recover the HP of my Leviathan. Okay, super container appearing right here. And so I'll use my um, wasp along with porcupines to somewhat zone out those air, there's those vertex. Okay, there we go with the Vertex. Okay, zoning out. And what is that? Okay, a hammer. Alright. So he actually lost a Vertex there. And just... Just like that. A Solaris and a shield. Nothing else. A Solaris and a shield. Just like that, managed to zone out everything that I have. Without a care in the world. Okay. Using a common attack boost to speed up the Leviathan. Air raid boost right off the get, uh, get go. Porcupine's here. Okay. You did your job, Rifleman. You acted as a bait for those vertex so I can activate my chameleon as fast as I can right after you were annihilated. <laughs> bait. Okay, here we go. Seraphim now. Okay. Attacking the Seraphim. Seraphim moving around. I'm not gonna really chase it out, you know, chase it. Just didn't damage the shield and whatever. Okay, here goes the Vertex. Okay. Seraphim actually came back here, which is very, very good. As the Porcupines will target the Seraphim, then those Vertex. Since the Vertex goes out of range, so the Porcupines are actually going to change the targets. However, that's not after losing 2 to 4 Vertex and the Seraphim. I would still say that's a good exchange for just 1,100 resources. Okay, well, that's that. Okay, Leviathan now in production. He's actually moving his army around here. Let's see how this goes. Here goes a big engagement. Ooh, disgusting damage. Almost destroyed three Jaguars there. Okay, Mammoths at the back. Multi repair. Dragonfly to act as a meat bag and confuse the Zeus. Acid strike, not really effective. Okay, Mammoths really dealing some huge chunk of damage here, dude. I barely have any Jaguars here, just one, two Jaguars. Yeah, two Jaguars slowly. Okay, the rest are mammoths. Porcupines. Whatever. Okay. My porcupines are actually out of position here. So I'm gonna have to get it back. Although, that's not... Just look at... Wow. Just the damage, man. Ooh! Mammoth in boy! Yeah, so tell me now if the mammoths are still useless, as you guys say. I mean... This battle was before the buff on those mammoths. Okay. Oh wow, that's a force fire man. That that porcupine is really lucky. And there you go. Okay. Again, mammoths firing. Okay, so it's better to use a gold scouting boost for the mammoths to see further so that they can use their cannons to fire as they gain more view. Or they can see their target. Huge chunk of damage out of that Solaris. It actually moved now. Okay, I'm gonna have to disband my mammoths right there for they are clumped up. I'm afraid of that Solaris skill will basically demolish them. Okay. That Solaris actually been destroyed before it unleashed its uh uh yeah, before it unleashed its uh active skill. 
Vertex actively tr or desperately trying to destroy my stuff here or my Leviathan. Leviathan launched the nuke. He lost about, let's see. Well, I don't really have many porcupines here. He lost about two to three Vertex, a Solaris, and a bunch of Zeus. Only the shield here and the Typhoons remain. Okay, using a uh, recovery boost to recover the HP. As you guys can see, I only have like one Jaguar here. A wasp and a dragonfly. More Jaguars here, four Jaguars. And the rest are mammoths. And here we go again. So I got some view right there. And so I'll just double tap and see magic happens. Now, Huffy may be wondering, how am I able to see those? <laughs> yeah, I mean, before the battle even began, those Typhoons are already half HP. Okay. Okay. He lost a bunch of uh, Zeus to Vertex. And I lost one Mammoth. One Dragonfly. Okay, here we go with the Siege. I actually managed to push him back. Okay, good micro on those Typhoons, targeting the Wasp instead of the Dragonfly. Porcupines going ham again. Very dumb. Mammoths at the very back, as you guys can see right here. Okay. And again, those uh, Vertex are trying to snip away at those Mammoths that are revealed by firing at any buildings. Now, at this point, I really thought that he doesn't really have any Thors. Because if he has, he would have used it right from the get-go. Okay, just the mammoths firing from a safe distance outside the range of those Zeus or Typhoons or whatever. Boo. Okay. Mole is here. Trying to be annoying. Okay, using the, um, using the mole turret so that the missiles of those Zeus will fire and then the mammoths will actually fire the Zeus. There you go. <laughs> it's called baiting. Okay, super container. Again, destroying that construction yard. Oh, and... Dude. That ain't good. That ain't good, man. Okay. So, again immediately retreating and my mole as well as the other side of this uh, army has been annihilated again vertex he only has a few my leviathan is already out wasp is already out as well okay now and uh, he also has the seraphim again chipping away at anything that i can chip away at from a safe distance and so I'll use the Leviathan here to gain high ground view along with four porcupines to act as an anti-air against those Vertex and Seraphim. As you guys can see, he's reconstructing his base nicely right there, so I'm not gonna allow, allow that to happen. Oh, and also, my chameleons ran out of energy. LOL! Now my mammoths actually did a number on those Typhoons. As you guys can see, he barely had any Typhoons now. Kablooey! Free damage around there. I'll use the Wasp here along with the passive of the uh, Leviathan. There you go, right on the money. Passive active, uh, passive ability of the Wasp covering the uh, Wasp or the Leviathan. Now the Leviathan's active a bit or passive ability activated. He only has like what one vertex, and that really ain't really a threat. Now at this point, my some of my chameleons actually replenish, replenished their energy, so I'm gonna have to spread them apart. And, of course, cause some damage from afar. Can't really do nothing here at this point. Now, unless he goes try and desperately make a last stand here, and that's gonna be it. Okay, spreading my army apart from the, below the cliff. I have high ground view. Wasp and nuclear dropping at the same time. Okay, solid hit. Boom! Army erased. And that Solaris is next. Multer, it's pitching in here as well. And at this point, 
he has absolutely nothing to defend against what I have here. G, G. Now, guys, if you like this uh, more content of this, um, of this caliber, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming from my channel. Also, leave a comment down below what are your thoughts into this video. Check out my previous videos as they contain tips, tricks that can help you win a battle. Also, guide videos are there as well for build orders, strategies, which uh, which unit to upgrade, how to control Hawk or Vertex better. Likewise, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Bye! Drill! Oh, mold drill! Oh, mold drill! 10 upgrade on mold drill! Bad! <laughs> okay, well, that's absolutely bad. I'm not joking around. Yeah? GG. Ah. Uh, Penal. Bye.